guys, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Talking TV with Lex, and today we are talking Grownish Season 3, Episode 5, titled Guy Filling. I really love this episode, I thought it was so funny. I was really sad at the end to see Nomi leave, but overall, I think it was a really good episode. So, I'm excited to talk about it with you. But first, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you don't already. As you're watching, comment along, let me know what you're thinking, and make sure you turn those notifications on so you know every time I drop a new video now let's get into it I don't know about y'all but Luca and Nomi's relationship is really weird to me like in the previous episodes when Zoe was mad that she told Luca she was pregnant before her I didn't understand that but I feel like if Zoe were to come out and be like, I think your relationship with my ex-boyfriend is weird, I would totally agree with her because it is weird. Like, I get that they're friends, but he's always over there hanging out with her. Granted, guys and girls can be friends, they say. I don't believe they can, but they say they can. But, like, he's going to her doctor's appointments. He's joking with the doctor saying he's the dad. But then, you know, I look at Twitter and everybody's like, maybe he really is the dad. And I'm like, well, obviously, that's how they're putting it out there because I'm not the only one who feels that way. So let me know in the comments if you think this is about to be a whole little switcheroo and it really be that Luca is the daddy because he's playing daddy. What guy is going to play daddy for no reason? I mean, obviously, it's Luca and he plays around, but... I don't know. Something feels fishy about that whole situation. So let me know in the comments what you think because me and Twitter feel like it's a little inappropriate for him to be like that with her. Maybe that's why the ending was the ending because she was, she's like, I can't tell my friend that I'm pregnant by her ex-boyfriend. Ooh, that would be a key child. I don't think that would be that messy on Freeform, but I can say that if it comes out that it's really Luca's baby, I wouldn't even be surprised. So after Nomi leaves the doctor with her baby daddy, they go <laughs> they go back home and they see that the gang did a baby shower for her. And normal people would be really excited about a baby shower, but then it's revealed that Nomi has con been contemplating not even keeping the baby, but putting the baby up for adoption. It ends up being because her parents are preferring that she give the baby up for adoption, but I think also she probably had the same thing in her mind of if she really can keep this baby and take care of this baby. Um, so she tells her friends that, and of course they all have their different opinions. Some people think that she should. Some people say that she shouldn't. Some people, you know, are like me where I think I saw it from both sides. You know, you want to keep your baby and love your baby. It's here. You know, why not take care of it? But at the same time, you know, you're still very young. You don't e barely even know the person who you're having the baby with. You're in college. You're trying to figure things out. You don't really have the support of your parents. So I get it from both sides. Also revealed in this conversation that Nomi has hasn't told the father of the child that he is the father of a child um i feel like the best decision in that situation in my opinion would would be to tell the guy that he has a baby on the way why rob somebody of the opportunity to get to know a child that they have and why rob that child from possibly having a relationship with her father i think if she ends up not telling him that it's ultimately gonna bite her in the behind later on in life whether she decides to keep the baby or not because you're taking a decision away from somebody who has a say so in the decision because you're giving away their child to somebody else and they don't even have the opportunity to say that they don't agree with that and if he decides not to be in the baby's life at least give him the opportunity to say yes or to say no because he could end up being the best father in the world we still don't know in the show whether or not she's going to decide to tell him i feel like they kind of left it open-ended so even though you know technically it looks like her character may be leaving for good i feel like they have to have her come back because there's still so many questions we have like did she reach out to him is she gonna keep it like they didn't really specify what going home means is she going home to put it up for adoption when she gets home is she going home so that she can take care of it herself and if that is the case why home because it doesn't seem like her parents want her to have the baby anyway I don't know I just feel like they really ended this whole know me storyline on such a weird place okay so I'm not gonna lie to y'all I was a little bit disappointed with how this episode ended. Like, I wasn't the biggest fan of Nomi as a character, 
but I really don't see why they had to get rid of her. Like, I honestly feel like this pregnancy and this whole storyline was just some sort of way to get the actress off the show in all honesty. Now, I've been thinking that she may be pregnant in real life because she hasn't really been posting a lot of pictures on Instagram and her face does look a lot fuller. And she was barely in any of the promos, which I'm sure was because they didn't want people to know she was pregnant. But part of me feels like she may be pregnant in real life. So maybe they had to write that into the script. But if, even if they did, like, why did they get her off so soon? Are there are other ways they could have got her off the show. Like, she could have just not returned back for the semester. She could have studied abroad. Like, why... Why? Like, I just don't understand why they decided to introduce this whole storyline of her being pregnant to us when she's just going to go back home. And honestly, I feel like that's not very inspiring either. Like, I feel like, you know, it would have been good to have Nomi be on there, be pregnant because it happens, but still be able to finish school, still be able to, you know, do something positive. I don't think it's very inspiring for people who may be going through, through the same situation to see her kind of just give up and go home. I mean, unless, unless you look at it from the perspective of it's not giving up, it's her doing what's best for her baby. I don't know. But either way, I just wasn't a fan of how they decided to wrap it up in a bow and let it go. I think either they should have just had her off from the very beginning or had her be pregnant throughout the whole season. Like, maybe she could have had the baby and then went home. Like, I just don't get why she's gone all of a sudden. And I'm really sad to see her go. Not because I was such a huge fan of Nomi's, but just because, like, they kind of introduced this big thing of her having a baby to us and then took it away. It's just really, really weird. But, um... Maybe she'll come back. Maybe, you know, next episode will be like, we should get Nomi back. We shouldn't have let her leave. She needs to finish school. And then she'll come back or maybe she'll decide to give the baby up for adoption. So after she does that, she comes back. I don't know. I feel like we could do without her. But at the same time, this just can't be the way that they end her whole character. Like, so Junior's twin brother is back with Skye. I guess that's like Skye's boo thing now because he already knows where her room is like she said. He's coming through and meeting the friends. So I guess that's like her man man. But somehow in during his time being her man they never had any type of conversation about their backgrounds or anything because sis didn't even know his race. Like there's no way that actor in real life doesn't have any black in him and he's not black he has something in him there's no way that boy is just white so the whole dilemma about whether or not she's dating a white guy was silly to me because it's so obvious that this man has some sort of color like let's just be real yes he's light-skinned but you know black people be white we light-skinned we have light-skinned brothers and sisters and it's still you know, I feel like we could tell that there was some color in there. And then what what killed me is they said, of course he's black. His name is Rodney. Like, they needed to add the nay at the end for him to sound more black. Rodney is a black name regardless. So, you know, Leroy, Rodney, Tyrone, those are just names. No matter how you say it, it's always going to be a black name. So they did not have to add the nay on the end to justify their point because anybody named Rodney nine times out of ten he's probably black. I really thought it was funny the discourse between you know Sky and Aaron. I was about to call him Trevor, Aaron and Doug. Especially because when we met Doug they were checking him about the fact that he wasn't dating black girls and then she would end up dating a white guy. But I feel like it's not the same situation because sis didn't even know if he was black or not. So it's like obviously she thought she was dating somebody black. So I guess now we're going to have to try to see if, you know, if he is supposed to be white, which I think it's going to come out that he was adopted or something. Because like I said, there's no way that young man does not have any amount of color in him in any way. It's going to come out that, you know, he's actually adopted and he actually is black. But if it does come out that he's not, it makes me wonder, is she going to stay with him? Like, I'm not opposed to um, interracial relationships and I don't really know if that's the storyline I want them to go with her. I would like for her to be a little bit more open-minded. But, you know, she was getting on Doug about dating outside her race. So who knows what they're going to do. But I thought it was super duper funny, super duper cute storyline. Um, I mean, 
I just don't understand why they had to get somebody who looks exactly like Junior. And the fact that nobody is addressing it in the show is really, really funny to me. Do the producers not think he looks like Junior or something? Like, it would have been really cute if there was some kind of joke in there that, where Zoe was like, oh my gosh, he looks just like my brother. Because he literally looks just like Junior. So, I don't know. I thought it was a funny storyline and <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how all of that plays out. Overall, I liked this episode. I thought they had really good discussion, you know, about adoption and their whole discourse that they had about, you know, telling the father, not telling the father. I really enjoyed seeing all of the friends be there and support one another. I'm disappointed that Nomi is gone and that we are kind of left up in the air about what that storyline is going to be. And I'm disappointed that we haven't seen Jillian in this episode like what 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 is gonna be her purpose like she's had these very short cameos and you know these episodes just kind of being with Luca is that really all we're gonna get from her like I need some more Ryan Destiny on my tv screens so I'm gonna need some more Jillian in these shows I don't know if they had to get rid of Nomi first and then introduce a new girl in the mix but sis needs to come out of her dorm room so we can see what she got going on I love this episode. It was fun talking about this episode. Thank you for watching me as I talked about this episode. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it or if you agreed or disagreed with anything I had to say. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment on this video, turn those notifications on, and make sure you check back in with me next week for the next Grownish review. I see you guys then. Bye guys.